Hello everyone, my name is Nasra Amisi. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to present this work, which is done in collaboration with the Professor Lucas Asmil. I hope you find this work is informative and interesting. The topic of this work is the theory of the critical distances to predict the static and dynamic strength of notched uh, plane concrete under mixed mode load. So uh, the objective of this work is to present an advanced formulation of the theory of, of the critical distances to make it suitable to assess both the static and dynamic strength of notched and reinforced concrete under different level of loading mixity. So first let's start by presenting a brief review about the theory of the critical distances in its simplest form which is to assess a notched brittle material under mode 1 static uh, loading. So according to the TCD, a notched brittle material would fail as soon as the effective stress equal to the material uh, UTS. So by generating the linear elastic stress field ahead of the notch by sector, the calculation of the effective stress can be performed in many different ways. Uh, for instance, according to the point method, the effective stress is taken equal to a single value uh, from the notch tip at a distance equal to n over 2 or the effective stress according to the Lyle method is uh, equal to the average uh, stress over length equal to uh, 2L. L here is the material uh, critical distance which is a material a property and different for different materials and it could be found according to this uh, formula here. Uh, so when concrete is under dynamic loading, uh, it's known from the literature that its strength increases with increasing the rate of the applied load uh, and lots of models uh, were proposed. However, it's found that simple power laws are perfect in modeling the dynamic uh, strength and the dynamic fracture toughness as well as for the material critical uh, distance. Uh, all of those equations are a function of uh, z dot where it's a general, a general notation for many variables such as the local uh, displacement rate or uh, the maximum opening normal normal strain uh, rate. So in each equation there are basically two constants that are need uh, to be calibrated which is good which should, uh, can be performed uh, experimentally or uh, derived theoretically. So, the new extension of the TCD method starts by explaining the simple rule to determine the orientation of the focus path under mixed mode loading, which is essential to apply the TCD method. So in concrete, crack initiation and initial propagation is governed by mode 1 loading, and this is known from the literature. So it's assumed that the orientation of the mode 1 cracks is along those directions uh, where the opening normal stress is located. So it's, it's also being in tangent with the surface of the crack initiation site itself. And the focus path is just a straight line emanating perpendicular to the maximum opening normal stress. So for better, better clarification, consider this figure on the left here, which shows a, a notched and reinforced concrete subjected to external bending moment and shear force, and which, is, which results in local mixed mode stress distribution. So the maximum opening normal stress is no longer along the notch by sector and could be found by solving finite element models. And as you can see, it is oriented at an angle of uh, theta c from the uh, notch by sector here. So once the maximum opening normal stress is located, the focus path is just a straight line emanating uh, perpendicular to the maximum opening normal uh, stress. Now consider this figure on the left here, which shows a notched and reinforced concrete under mode 1 loading. So the maximum opening normal stress is located along the notch by sector and this confirms that the general rule is seen to be capable of addressing the mode 1 cases. And, uh, also, uh, recalling from the previous slide that the, fa the variables representing z dot, as you can see from the figure here, the displacement rate is calculated from the displacement oriented in parallel to the focus path. So as you can see here, and uh, the opening normal stress rate is calculated 
from the resulted maximum opening normal string. So the TCD method has to be reformed accordingly. As you can see, basically we just introduced uh, a Z dot variable to the condition of the TCD method and uh, the calculation of the effective uh, stress is uh, done from the generated linear elastic stress field at the failure condition along the focus path. So to check the accuracy of the new extension of the TCD method, in the lab normal concrete specimens were prepared. Here are drawings or schematic drawings showing the dimension of the uh, plane uh, specimens and here we have a figure showing the dimensions of the symmetric notched uh, specimens and finally a set of specimens were casted to have an eccentric notch location and as you can see that all of the specimens have a, not, uh, a net nominal depth equal to uh, 50 millimeter and we considered in this study three different uh, notch sharpness named as a blunt notch uh, having a root radius equal to 24 and intermediate notches having a root radius equal to 12.5 and finally sharp notches with a root radius equal to 1.3 so here this slide shows the test setups to generate different level of loading mixity so the level of loading mixity is quantified by what we call here rho which is the ratio between mod 2 stress intensity factor over mod 1 stress intensity factor this is done by uh, simply replacing all of the notches with ideal zero tip cracks also for all specimens the digital image correlation technique was carried using high speed camera this is done to calculate the displacement around the notch surface at an orientation we want so as you can see the uh, mod 1 uh, tests were carried under simple classic three-point bending and one level of loading mixity is carried also under three-point bending and finally the, or the final uh, loading mixity uh, was generated under uh, anti-symmetric four-point uh, bending as you can see here from this figure okay here we have the results uh, for uh, the mode one loading so rho equal to zero here we have the results for the unnotched specimen uh, generated in terms of the dynamic uh, strength and we here we have for the all uh, of the notched specimens the results are generated in terms of the in terms of the maximum opening normal stress and here we have the experimental results for the mixed mood cases so the top uh, charts here are showing the results of the uh, specimens tested under mixed mode loading with rho equal to one uh, 0.18 and the lower charts here showing the results for the notched specimens tested and under anti-symmetric four point bending which results in rho equal to 0.3 okay here we have a slide showing the cracking behavior so uh, the lower uh, schematic drawing showing the test setup and the uh, upper pictures uh, show the uh, cracking behavior clearly from these pictures we can see that uh, the general simple rule to uh, capture the crack uh, initiation orientation is pretty accurate as you can see here this is the angle of orientation between the notch bisector and the theoretical crack initiation plane so as you can see it is uh, pretty accurate so uh, also visual inspection of the uh, cracking surface showing that independently from the loading rate and the loading mixity uh, the cracks happens to be uh, or due to the bonding between aggregates and cement based in those areas were experiencing the maximum opening normal stress and then followed by small uh, small crack growth in the cement phase and finally unstable cracking until final break Okay, this slide shows the comparison between the assumed orientation of the focus path and the actual crack initiation site measured on the surface for all specimens. So for instance, if you can see here, we have this uh, figure shows the uh, comparison for the blunt notched uh, specimens and we have three lines here. So each line represent uh, a level of loading uh, mixity. So it's a possible to conclude by observing that 
a simple uh, rule being proposed here is uh, capable of capturing in very accurate way the crack initiation uh, process so this is, hold, uh, is holding true independently of the mood mixity and the nominal displacement rate okay here we have the results of the unnotched uh, specimens so by uh, using the standard least square method the constants that uh, describing the material uh, strength can be calibrated here we have them as a function of the local displacement ra rate and here we have them as a function of the maximum organic strain rate okay so what we have here we have also the results of the sharp notch specimens tested under mod 1 so at a given uh, displacement uh, rate we can use the results of the unnotched uh, specimens as an input value uh, on the linear on the generated linear elastic stress field along the focus path at failure condition so and using the uh, point method definition l over 2 can be determined and by repeating this process the constants that are describing the material critical distance can be calibrated as you can see here uh, so by modeling all of the concrete specimens as linear, elastic, homogeneous, and isotropic materials, and by calculating the effective uh, stress along the focus path, the error in the accuracy of the mu extension of the PCT method is presented here. Here we have the top charts showing the accuracy when the Z dot equal to uh, the local displacement rate. Here we have in the left side or the left uh, figure shows the uh, accuracy in estimating the static strength and here we have the accuracy in estimating the dynamic strength so and the lower figures here showing uh, the accuracy when z dot equal to the maximum opening uh, strain uh, rate so, uh, here as you can see we have the predictions uh, of the static strength and we have the prediction of the dynamic strength so in overall the accuracy of the new extension is uh, within a plus or minus 30 percent and this is considered accurate because it's uh, as wide as the data point used to calibrate the approach which is plus or minus 30 percent and if we take a closer look we have the results when z dot equal to the maximum open extreme rate are more accurate and this is because uh, the maximum opening strain rate representing a local quantity determined the vicinity of the estimated uh, crack initiate, initiation site. So the outcomes of this uh, research can be summarized in the following points. So the strength of the uh, notched uh, concrete increases with increasing the rate of the applied loading under mixed mode loading. The maximum opening uh, normal stress governs the cracking behavior independently of the loading rate and the level of loading mixity. Uh, the new simple uh, rule is seen to be accurate in estimating the orientation of the crack initiation uh, plane. And according to the TCD, the unreinforced concrete can be simply modeled as linear, elastic, homogeneous, and isotropic material. Uh, the new extension of the TCD method uh, showed that the strength of the unreinforced notched concrete can be estimated within a plus or minus 30 percent which is found to be accurate because uh, the predictions are as wide as the data point used to calibrate the approach thank you for listening and i hope you enjoyed my presentation